it's Lacey from LaceyJoy.com and we are back with round two of the teacher's lunchbox. Today we are making a butternut squash chicken sausage mix for our lunches next week. So we only need a few things which I love. Uh, laughing cow, I have creamy light, you can use whatever flavor you like. One butternut squash. I have two packets of green beans, you need about like four cups get our veggies in, and two packets of chicken sausage. I have Italian style, but um, my grocery store didn't have as many options, I guess, so this is what I have. My oven's preheating to 400 degrees. The first thing we're gonna do is peel. Oh, my light's flickering. Halloween is coming. The first thing we're gonna do is peel and cube our butternut squash. The style of peeler that looks like this is a game changer. I used to hate peeling um, until I got this peeler. <laughs> like I was like, I don't want to peel potatoes. You just go to town. Peel, peel, peel. Peel, peel, peel. All right, now I'm, I'm cutting the butternut squash. So I'm grabbing a large baking dish and the green beans will go on there. So this recipe is a great example of eating seasonally. Butternut squash, squash in general, is a very good purchase in the fall. Another great time to make all things pumpkin. I actually was going to make something pumpkin this week, but our grocery store is already sold out of pumpkin. So, so as I cube the squash, I'm just putting it on a baking sheet. You can line your baking sheet with parchment paper. All right, so I have the green beans and the butternut squash on here. I'm going to kind of space it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to take the chicken sausage and I'm going to cut it into rounds. So just cutting them into rounds just like this. And I'm using all eight chicken sausage. Uh, you could do a little less. I just wanted to use the whole squash and the whole package. Um, but you could do four chicken sausage or maybe half the butternut squash. All right, my pan is full stuffed. <laughs> so I'm gonna lightly spray with the propellant free olive oil cooking spray. I'm going to put salt and pepper sprinkled over the top of everything. And because my laughing cow isn't a seasoned flavor, I'm gonna take Old Bay blackened season and put it over everything as well. So I'm gonna go roast that in the oven for 20 minutes. So once the timer goes off, I'm gonna mix everything on the pan and then I'm gonna add the four laughing cow cheese wedges mix in with all of the food and then I'm gonna roast it for another 10 minutes all right the timer just went off so I'm gonna grab the first round out of the oven all right it was a heavy pan okay so first I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna add in our four wedges of laughing cow which is really just to soften because we'll be mixing it all up this recipe is something that is really easy because all we did was put a protein with a carb and a veggie and we're making it taste good with some cheese and seasoning. So you could do this with turkey and potatoes and another vegetable that you like like broccoli. You get a nice meal for lunch and it doesn't take forever to make. All right, so this is gonna go back in the oven for another 10 minutes, though I might do a little longer, just because I did add a little bit more uh, vegetables. There you go. So I'm gonna let that bake for 10 more minutes. All right, the 10 minutes is up, and I actually left it in for an extra five minutes, and then also forgot about it, so I'm gonna bring it out. <laughs> it actually smells amazing. So I got a really big bowl, and my next step is going to be to scoop all of this, and we're going to mix the kind of melted cheese uh, into all the veggies and chicken sausage. Oh, this smells so good. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have got more laughing cow. We just had four left in the house, but I figured I'd use up. But because I used more sausage and stuff, I'm going to get less of a creamy kind of cheesy result. But that's okay. I guess I could always sprinkle. I mean, working from home now, I could sprinkle cheese. <laughs> Just any kind of thing I want. Of course, the chicken sausage that I got actually does have mozzarella cheese in it, which will be really yummy. Almost done. All right, let's mix. And on 
the day of, I'll do a taste test and maybe add garlic powder or extra spicy seasoning. Whatever feels good that day. Check it out. Yum. All right, so really easy. Chicken sausage, laughing cow cheese, green beans, and butternut squash seasoned with a little bit of Old Bay for me and salt and pepper. And lunch is packed. Feels good. So you can divvy this up into equal lunch containers. I made a little bit extra, so I might do a little bit more. Or working from home. If there's space in the fridge, you can just stick her right in there. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you liked, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.